hello, hello, hello. That's so Joe. Oh, it's never gonna grow on me. This is going to be a get ready with me video. So I'm about to go to a New Year's Eve party. I got about two hours to do this. Actually two hours minus 19 minutes um because it's currently 8 19 and we have t minus four hours until 2023 and i'm so excited new year's eve and new year's are my favorite holidays only because Y'all know what the new year means. It means a fresh start, a new clean slate. I'm not gonna lie, I don't like when people say that, like you can start fresh whenever you want to, but the new year, it definitely does symbolize something different. I'm just about to do my makeup because why not? I wanna look cute. I honestly don't know what this little party is gonna be like, but we're just gonna do it. I just wanted to talk a little bit about the new year. Like what does it mean? to me basically the new year is my favorite holiday because like i said it's a clean slate it symbolizes letting go of what happened in the past and starting new and fresh okay i got one eyebrow down a little bit so i'm not gonna lie i had a lot going on this year unlike other years before it wasn't actually a really bad year for me it wasn't like the worst year possible. Like I'm not coming into this new year like, oh my God, I can't wait until this year is over. It definitely has been a long year. There's definitely been a lot of lessons learned and stuff like that. But I think the only reason that it wasn't too bad of a year is because of me mentally, you know, growing and preparing for the things that just come with getting older. I think I'm starting to really understand what's going on. And that's why I don't think it was a bad year. I think it was just like a, really introspective year um yeah yep i'm sorry if this video comes out a little bit serious i actually did a new year's um vision board like i think three years ago if you guys want to go watch that video it'll be up at the top it was cute that was my first for real for real video that i've ever really did that i liked so go ahead and support me you know what i mean i'm about to do this other eyebrow mm. i don't like how that came out it looked different they look like two different eyebrows. But I guess, you know, sisters, not twins, right? I was saying that this year wasn't really that bad of a year and I had a lot going on this year. 2022 was the year that I went back to college. I didn't tell you guys that. I actually shot a video for college. Um, get ready with me for the first day of college. Originally, that was gonna be my return to YouTube, but unfortunately I didn't get to that. But I did start going to school for film, of course. You know, your girl had to be a creative, so why not? I'm just at community college. Um, not that, you know, ugh, it's not that ugh. This year is also uh, the year that it had a lot of ups and downs emotionally wise. I don't really know how to phrase this, I won't even lie. Anyway, FBGM, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Hold on, let me see if I have a handheld mirror so I can stay here and talk to you guys while I'm doing it. Give me one second. And those are not farts. It is my floor. Voila. And this year was also a lot about looking within. I became just a smidge more self-aware this year with knowing like who I am to people, who people are to me, what I want out of friendships, relationships, what I want out of life, being cognizant of the way I am toward people, especially my family. I won't say that I'm like the, you know, most eye opened and stuff like that, but I do think that I've done a lot of work to get where I am right now. That was good. This year was also the year where I had like three whole jobs. And you may be wondering, Hannah, why are you going to a party when you know you have work in the morning? I have work at 9 a.m. tomorrow, but I will be going to this party until 1 a.m. So all in all, this year was a pretty nice year. But what are my New Year's resolutions? What are my plans for next year? I have come to a point where I honestly don't like thinking about the future. I kind of just like to keep things where they're at and let them go with the flow. But also I'm the type of person that just needs to know what is happening at every single time. And both of those can be a blessing or a curse. So New Year's resolution number one, appreciating where I am now and meeting myself where I'm at. Now I know that New Year's, the New Year's all about, you know, 
planning goals and making these big names for yourself and all that stuff but i've spent a lot of time in my youth trying to set these big expectations for myself and like it takes me away from appreciating what my life is right now. What that means for me is taking things step by step and doing the little things every single day to reach your bigger goal because eventually it will come. So that's my New Year's resolution number one. New Year's <coughs> New Year's resolution number two, taking care of my body. Now that's a really generic one. I don't need to lie, like I be saying it like every single year. And I don't mean like, oh my God, I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna work out, I'm gonna get cronked. But I mean, just trying to pay attention to my body. If I eat something and it gives me acne, pay attention to that, cut it out. Putting things in my body every single day, like tea, making sure good stuff is going into your body and bad stuff is not. It is pretty generic to say that like, okay, you're gonna take care of your body. Yeah, it's just what we gotta do. Like we have, to, I feel like the new year is a reminder to take care of your body. New year's resolution number three is to travel more. I do want to learn. I do want to go out in the world. I want to meet new people and I want to eat new foods and I want to learn new cultures and I want to live new lives. Hashtag new life 2023. My new year's resolution number four, make connections. Making connections is probably the best thing that I can do for myself. I've been putting that off this year a lot and I've been isolating myself. One of the lesser parts of 2022 was that I was feeling really lonely and I just didn't want to be around anyone, anything. Um, I just want to isolate myself, be in a cocoon and die. But we are not doing that next year. We are getting out, we are meeting new people under no circumstances, under the worst possible, under circumstances under by any means possible we are meeting new people we are saying hello okay at the least and that goes for you too whoever is watching this video new year's resolution number five working toward my profession now this is kind of a start like i'm coming back to youtube whatever whatever so i need to start thinking about what i even want to do with this film degree that i'm going to get so being more creative and like i said in the last one meeting more people that are also creative so that we can create together like a big happy family okay i'm done my makeup i honestly didn't really do much because i'm not doing much but it is currently 8.47. We are going to do my hair, because why not? My mother bought me this super nice plumping lip gloss. It's like a plumping lip gloss that makes your lips plump. I don't know how better to explain that. It doesn't really make my lips plump like that. It just makes them burn and like swell up just a little bit, just a, t a tiny bit. Ooh, I'm out of breath. I just ran up and down the stairs. Okay, I'm gonna put this on real quick and then we can get into my hair. All right, it ain't start burning yet, but it's about to. Oh, look at it. Look at that. This stuff looking like stuff. So we're going to curl this just a little bit. It's been, a oh shoot, I didn't even turn this on. I haven't used something like this in so long. It's actually, Oh, it's getting hot. It's actually really um, old. So also for my New Year's resolutions, like I said, I didn't give too much thought this year only because I was so set in the first resolution that I was like, you know what, just go with the flow with like everything. So I was like, okay, I'm not gonna set up any like crazy resolutions because I just want to be. I just want to be. And that's my ultimate, ultimate resolution is just being. This world is just so extra right now and it makes it hard for people to just be or just even want to be, if you know what I mean. I don't know how to comb my hair with my a curling rod, so we won't figure this out together. So I just, I guess I just go like that. And then I guess I just go like that and like that and like that and like that. And then I guess I just go like that. Did it curl? Kinda. No. Should I just keep my hair straight or should I try for real? Let's try again.
Ooh. Oh, that looks actually really good. And it's a nice little loose curl. I can, I can deal with that. So now I just have to do that to the rest of my head. I did a little bit. I'm starting to get the hang of it. And I know it doesn't look that good, but I think it looks good enough for what I'm doing tonight. But it do look good in the front. I won't even laugh at a good job. Cool, 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 yeah. All we gotta do is do it to the other side and then we're done. So I'll see you guys in three, two, one. Happy New Year! Okay. So I didn't curl it like super crazy or nothing like that because I just don't know how to do that. So I left it just a little bit wavy. It is currently 10 o'clock and I told my friends that I was gonna be there at 10 o'clock, but it is 10 o'clock. So I'm leaving up the house at 10 o'clock. Give me a second, I'm about to go change, show you my outfit and then I'm about to head out. what I look like. This is the shirt that I'm wearing. These are the pants that I'm wearing. It is like 10 15. I have to go. So if you like this video, like and subscribe, comment down below because I like reading comments. And like I said, comment down below what you guys did this New Year's Eve because why not? I will see you guys in the next year. <laughs>